This is Professor Hildebrandt. I'm going to work a calculation from the material in Chapter 17. If you have the newest edition, Edition 12 of the textbook, um, this is on page 415. I'll work problems 17, 18, and 19. Uh, if you don't have that edition, you should just be able to follow along with what I'm doing here. So we're going to start by read through um, the questions here. So it says, use the following table to work problems 17, 18, and 19. Uh, the first two columns of the tables show the demand schedule for electricity from coal burning utilities, and the last is the utility's cost of producing the electricity. And it tells us for this problem, the marginal external cost of the pollution created equals the marginal cost. So that'll be uh, important to note. So write that down here. Okay, so we know that the marginal external cost equals the marginal cost. Now recall from the lecture on chapter 17 we had an equation for our marginal social cost of externalities and that that was equal to the marginal cost of production plus the marginal external cost. So in this equation because these two things are equal then we know that our marginal social cost would simply be two times the marginal cost of producing the electricity. Okay, so now let's move to the first problem here, question number 17, which asks, with no government action to control pollution, what is the quantity of electricity produced, the price of electricity, and the marginal external cost of the pollution generated? Okay, well with no government intervention, we're simply going to let the market system work. So if we look back at the chart here, um, we would see that when we have quantity of 400 being produced, our price is eight cents per kilowatt and the marginal cost is also eight cents per kilowatt. So again, we'll be looking for where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost, or in this case, the market price equal to the marginal cost. So our price is eight cents per kilowatt and our quantity produced and consumed would be 400. And then the last part of that question asked us what the marginal external cost was or MEC. And again, we know that the MEC for this equals the marginal cost. So that would also be eight cents per kilowatt. Okay, now we're gonna move on to question number 18. With no government action to control pollution, what is the marginal social cost of the electricity generated and the dead weight loss created? Okay, so this time we're trying to find the marginal social cost and the dead weight loss. Again, going back to the equation on the previous page, our mar marginal social cost typically equals marginal cost plus marginal external cost. Again, for this specific case, it's two times the marginal cost. Well, we found in the previous question that our marginal cost was eight cents. Okay, so the marginal social cost is simply 16 cents. All right. As for the dead weight loss. In order to calculate that, we're going to have to determine our efficient quantity of electricity. And that quantity would be 300 kilowatts per day because that's going to be the quantity at which our marginal social cost equals the marginal social benefit. So let me show you again here. Okay. If the quantity is 300, the marginal benefit or price is 12 cents, the marginal cost is 6 cents, and because we're then doubling that, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 cents equals 12 cents at that quantity of 
300. So then our dead weight loss, uh, let me write this here. So our dead weight loss is going to be the area of the triangle with a base that's equal to the difference between the efficient quantity and the equilibrium quantity, okay? And then the height will be equal to the marginal external cost at the equilibrium quantity. So our equation here would be one half, this is triangle, base, so again, we found in the previous question that our equilibrium quantity is 400 kilowatts per day. Our efficient quantity, though, is 300, okay? And the price, uh, or excuse me, the marginal external cost at that equilibrium quantity, again, this is from problem 17, is eight cents, all right? And so if we worked this out, we would calculate that our dead weight loss is simply $4 per day. Again, where did a couple of these numbers come from here? This 400 and this eight came from question number 17, okay? And again, this was our equilibrium quantity and equilibrium price. And here, the first part of 18, we were talking about efficient quantity and efficient price. Okay, last question here. 19 says, if the government levies a pollution tax such that the utility produces the efficient quantity, okay, what is the price of the electricity, the tax levied, and the government's tax revenue? Per day. So again, now we're working um, question 19 here. Okay. Well, for the tax, uh, the tax is going to equal the amount of the marginal external cost at our efficient quantity. And so we found that efficient quantity in the last problem was a quantity of 300, okay? And the marginal external cost for that was six cents. Again, you can look back at the chart and you could see that if that quantity of 300 marginal cost was six cents, again, going back to the beginning, marginal cost equals marginal external cost for this problem, okay? So the quantity of electricity is gonna be 300 kilowatts per day, okay? The price is going to be the 12 cents per kilowatt. It's coming from our demand curve. And so the revenue that our government is going to collect would simply be equal to this efficient quantity, 300, times, again, the tax is going to equal the marginal external cost, or 6 cents, okay? And so their additional revenue from the tax would be $18 per day.